Hello, Dean with I Buy Cool Stuff. Yesterday I got a phone call from a gentleman, said that he knew I bought military weapons, said he had a broom handle he wanted to sell, and asked if I was interested. He says, yep. So I met him up at the uh, flea market uh, where I have a booth to, for conducting business and whatnot, and uh, we're going to talk about the C96 broom handle and the other iconic World War I pistol of Germany, the Luger. So we're just going to talk about them a little bit and show you some video on them. All right, so these are the two most iconic weapons, handguns of Germany from World War I. This is a war era C96 broom handle made by Mauser Work. This one is all matching numbers. Has the tangent sight. And I've had it apart, and every number in it matches. The C96 is an internal magazine. You push that button, slide the floor plate off. Holds 10 rounds. Loaded from a stripper clip in that notch right there. Has a thousand meter uh, tangent sight. This is a World War I Luger P08. Also military proof. This one is also all matching numbers. This one is double date dated. Come on and focus. So this gun was built in 1912, re-arsenaled after the Treaty of Versailles, and dated 1920. This is in 9mm. And this one is also all matching, which surprises me having been through a re-arsenal that they all match. But the Germans were like that. They numbered everything, and they all match. I don't know what that brass plate is in the bottom of that magazine. I've never seen another one. If you know, post it in the uh, comments, please. This Luger is chambered in 9mm. The Mauser is chambered in 30 Mauser. It is not 30 Luger, it is 30 Mauser. And we're going to talk about them. So, here's all the different shells. These are all very similar shells. This one here. Is standard 9mm. Standard 9mm. This one. Is 7.62 by 25. Tokarov. I think you can see that there. This is 30 caliber Mauser.
30 caliber Mauser and 762 by 25 Tokarov. The cases are identical. Either case will chamber in Tokarov or in 30 Mauser. The Tokarov is more powerful. Do not shoot 762 by 25 Tokarov ammo in your broom handle. These two here, the one on the left is Nambu, Japanese Nambu, and the one on the right is 30 Luger. So the broom handle is not in 30 Luger, it is in 30 Mauser. But Nambu is very, very similar. Lay these down here. I'm going to put this 30 Mauser down with it so you can see the difference. So the 30 Mauser was the most powerful pistol cartridge up until the time of the 357 Magnum. The Tokarov, which is identical but has more gas pressure in it, is why you should not shoot it in your broom handle, is a very potent round and is known to go through many bulletproof vests. So be aware of the power of these rounds. Let's go back to the guns a little bit. So I bought this gun here. The guy had it. He had had it for 40 years. This one here is marked 7.63 millimeter. So you know clearly it is not 7.62, uh, but it is 30 Mauser. And this is the military proof over here, I believe. World War I military proof is that one. So we're going to take these up to the property and shoot them this year. Weather's still been pretty bad here in Michigan, so. But it's, uh, it's going to get better. Always does. I love the dual dates on these. Made it through the First World War and still has all matching numbers before the Second World War. I don't know if it was used in the Second World War. I do not see any Nazi proof marks on it. I don't know if that matters. This is Erfurt. There's that military proof right next to it there. And this is in 9 millimeter. So thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, and uh, watch for more shooting videos. I've been up shooting, so I think I've got around 150 videos in the channel. So subscribe to the channel. Look, I've got uh, sniper rifles, M1 carbines. Just as I pull stuff out, I'm doing the videos on it. And it's raining out right now. So we're doing a video. Something to do. So God bless you and God bless America.